Hi everybody, hi again. Uh, this is the final part of the videos that will be associated with this flip lecture. But uh, the first thing that I would just like to mention is, again, how does this relate to how you're developing your skills as uh, technology using educators of the future? And I'm going to relate back to the ISTE standards for teachers. Again, your kind of aligning your development in the course this semester to those standards. Those are kind of our, our measuring stick. And again, you guys, in one class in technology, you can't meet all of these standards. But what I'm hoping is that we start you developing your professional development in all of these five areas so that you will have continual development through your preparation program here at Iowa State and then in your career as you, um, you know, mature as a uh, classroom teacher or in the ECE field um, in some kind of a, a learning environment that involves younger children. So I just wanted to show you how this relates to the standards. So these are the ISTE standards and again you're kind of, we're having you think about, okay, as we do these various assignments, what standard in, am I building knowledge on, in knowledge and skill? And so, you know, uh, one through three is more working with the applications, what you're doing in lab, and those kinds of things. But if we look at four, at four especially, that's the one that I think fits in terms of what we're doing right now in the course. Promote and model digital citizenship and responsibility. Again, the key words here, you guys, are promote and model, okay? And so, as, uh, as I look at this one, teacher understands the local and global society issues and responsibilities in an evolving digital culture. And that's what I'm talking about is like, okay, we kind of know what technology is right now, but when you're teachers five and ten years from now, what is this going to look like, and then how is that going to be related to copyright, and how, and will they change that federal law? So that's also something to think about. But I think we're really focusing right now on that first one, A, advocate and model and teach safe, legal, and, and ethical use of digital information and technology, and including the respect for copyright, intellectual property, and the appropriate documentation of sources. Okay? So again, your responsibility then as a future educator is to promote and model these things. And so that's why we're doing and spending so much time on this issue because it really, in, it really involves this standard, a whole standard. Um, and so uh, taking the first steps to do that is very important. So the last thing that I would like you to do uh, as part of this uh, flipped experience is I want you to go, there is, after this video, there's one more form. This is kind of your exit ticket out of the, out of the flipped experience. And I want you to think about this scenario, okay? Um, like, what did you think about this, or what do you think about this? A student wants to include a cartoon character, specifically a, a picture of Mickey Mouse, obtained from the web for a multimedia project. So we could even say at this point, Mickey Mouse wanted to put in my little bird tails, want to put it in a Google slide, um, you know, it, it could be a movie, an iMovie, or something like that, but they want to use it in a project. And each of the four factors for this scenario has to be considered to determine where do you think the student should be allowed to use this. You know, the student comes to you, asks you, can I use Mickey Mouse? Okay? Um, so you're going through your mind with these four things. Okay? And now I want you to make a decision. Yes, your answer is yes, or no, your answer is no. And then in the form, I'm not going to let you sit on the fence. You have to say yes or no. And then you have to tell me why you made that decision. 
So you should be backing up that decision according to what you came to understand about these four factors. Okay? So with that, I will uh, sign off. And I will look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. And I do hope that you now, you know, you're, you're growing your knowledge in copyright. At least now you have an awareness that there's copyright, there's fair use, there's four criteria within fair use, and we're going to kind of work these out, okay? So we'll be talking more. There's more to learn. Uh, but... Uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.